So my work area is starting to get kind of dank. It could use a cleaning. I'm going to be installing a shelf for my less used printer filament. It's going to give me a little extra space to work with, but I'm going to be honest, the, the rest of this is just cleaning. Uh, I've been lazy the past few weeks because of COVID and other stuff, but mostly COVID. specifically to house these things um, and I wanted to put shelves on the back here but you know they're the, the 3d printer filament rolls are uh, mobile and you know they, they roll so I was not confident that I would be able to do it so I so, so that they wouldn't just roll off so I never ended up doing it um, But I still want the shelves in here because these things take up a lot of space. I have a lot of these. Like everyone who owns a 3D printer knows these things. Uh, you get a lot of 3D printer filament. So yeah, um, I think I'm just gonna get like a rod and like drill holes. Yo, Mark, get some here. Drill holes through the wall here and then through the wall over over. Over, over here, and just that, that camera is not facing that at all. Over there, and then like, you know, just put like a dowel <laughs> And the spools will lean on it. I am definitely healthy right now. Moving the camera over from one tripod to the other, because I didn't get two tripods with the same mounting kit. Yeah, I can't read that. Jesus. We're going to have a spot here where a dowel goes. Maybe I'll flip the image or just go over it with text or something. But yeah, there's going to be a spot where we're going to put a dowel in. And I got to remember that that way is... Let me look at the camera and make sure. Okay, yes, that way is... Cool, I can spell. Off the wall there. Right, like. God damn it. That's the 3D filament roll. Now, you might notice is this point right here, which is the center of gravity, is slightly off center from the dowel, and that's going to be the thing that keeps it from falling off. This is exactly what I was looking for. I did a good job with it, yay! So... <laughs> keep saying I should just record the whole thing and then just cut out the boring bits, but like, oh gosh darn it, it's stuck, I like the screwdriver. Ugh. But like half my stuff here is just transferring the camera from one tripod to the other. It's a little bit boring. No, I'm not going to transfer it from one tripod to the other. No, that. We're going to use the other tripod. Picture of a tripod. No one, no one likes you. 
Boom. There we go. Why does the camera look like that? Why can't... It's fixed. Okay. So. Measurements. The dowel is one inch. The spool is eight inches. So we need the opening to be more than four inches away from the wall. We're gonna go for five inches. Five inches. Okay. Where's the other, where's the other paper towels? There it is. Yeah. One. There we go, that is five inches from the wall. Does it sit? Yeah. Yeah. Aha. It is a stick. I always wonder what was under there. I should probably do this on screen, huh? Like I'm a professional, I'm a real Mark Rober, William Osmond. Michael Reeves type character. No, I'm not. Ugh. Oh no. There's sawdust all over everything. And I guess I should have seen that coming, but still. <sighs> so yeah, the next... <coughs> so the next... <laughs> the next step is... Dr <laughs> Drilling holes. Drilling holes. This is called... <laughs> this is a first nap a bit. <laughs> used for drilling wider holes. You're only supposed to use them in drill presses, but this one is crap, so it's okay. Forstner bit. Tighten that up a little bit. There we go. Now spin around. Spin around. Spin around. Spin around. Just a little dusty. Just, just a little dusty. Thank God for washing machines. Yikes. Almost. Almost. Yeah. Those are my metal filaments. It's not actual metal, it just looks like it. You know, I'm noticing it's starting to like warp a little bit in the center. Should I be worried? Nah. If you enjoyed this video, <laughs> <coughs>